In the seventh segment of this overview tutorial, we shall discuss tools of the Booleans and Intersections palette. The first four tools of the palette are Boolean operations, of which we will examine the first three. Before we proceed, we should note that the Boolean operations can be applied to either 2D closed surface objects or to 3D solids. However, the two types cannot be mixed. Let's begin by creating a set of similar objects. On the left, we create a 2D rectangle then create a 2D circle partially intersecting the rectangle. On the right, we create a cube, then create a sphere partially intersecting the cube. Now select the Union tool. Click on the 2D rectangle, then click on the 2D circle. Observe that the two surfaces are unioned together as one surface object. With the Union tool still active, click on the cube, then click on the sphere and observe that the two solids are unioned together as one solid object. Undo the two previous Boolean operations. Select the intersection tool, click on the 2D rectangle, then click on the 2D circle and observe that the resulting object is the common area shared by the two surfaces. With the intersection tool still active, click on the cube, then click on the sphere and observe that the resulting object is the common volume shared by the two solids. Undo the two previous Boolean operations. Now select the Difference tool. Click on the 2D rectangle first, then click on the 2D circle second, and observe that the 2D circle is subtracted from the 2D rectangle. Now with the Difference tool still active, click on the cube first, then click on the sphere second, and observe that the volume of the sphere is subtracted from the volume of the cube. Note that with the Difference tool, the order you pick the objects is significant. The second object selected is always subtracted from the first one selected. Both 2D and 3D sections can be derived from 3D solid objects. The 2D sections are surface objects. The 3D section operation effectively splits a 3D object into two or more pieces, each of which is a well-formed 3D solid. The section tool is used to execute these 2D and 3D sections. We begin by creating a solid object that we will use to cut sections. Start by creating several intersecting boxes. Then use the Union tool to union all the boxes into a single solid object. Use the Vector Line tool to create a vector line across the object. This line will be used as our cutting object. The type of section to be derived and the type of cutting entity used are selected from the Section Options dialog invoked from the Section tool. Select Type of Section as 2D and choose Cut Objects with Line. Click on the object first, then click on the cutting line second, and a 2D section is generated where the line intersects the model. Note that the object is cut by a plane derived from the line by extruding it in a direction perpendicular to the reference plane. Thus, what reference plane is active is significant. Undo the previous operation. In the Section Options dialog, change Type of Section to 3D. With the Section tool active, click on the object, then click on the line. The object is split into two 3D objects where the line intersects the model. We rotate one half away from the other to highlight the result of this operation. This concludes the seventh segment of the overview tutorial.